An outbreak at a South Bay hospital has turned deadly. We've learned an employee at Kaiser Permanente San Jose Medical Center has died of COVID complications. 43 other workers are infected. That's a big number. This is a freak occurrence. Take a look. Hospital administrators say this inflatable holiday costume that someone wore in the emergency department on Christmas Day is likely to br blame for this outbreak. NBC Bay Area's Marianne Favreau first broke this story and joins us now from that Kaiser in San Jose with the exclusive details. Marianne. Raj, employees here say they're devastated by the loss of the longtime employee. They say she worked as a registration clerk in the emergency department here, known for her smile and her devotion to the job. Kaiser says it just completed a deep cleaning of the entire emergency department at its San Jose Medical Center, which included swab testing of surfaces. Employees are also being tested after an outbreak that infected at least 44 staff members with COVID. One of them died yesterday from COVID complications. Today, an employee who asked not to be identified reflected on the department's loss. She's always consistent with a smile. And and uh, we never show face to the to the stresses that we um, that we go through, and uh, just a tremendous uh, role model for others to follow. So it's just uh, really unfortunate, really sad that. This outbreak led to her passing. The registration clerk had worked in the emergency department Christmas Day. While the exact source of the outbreak is still under investigation, Kaiser administrators say an employee wearing an air powered costume in the emergency department on Christmas Day is a likely source. Experts say the fan blowing air in the costume could have circulated the virus as the employee mingled with patients and staff. But several employees say they're not convinced the costume is to blame. There are a number of other possibilities. Um, and, you know, I feel like the investigation was wrapped up almost too quickly. And uh, this individual that wore the inflatable Christmas tree is being used as some sort of a scapegoat. Kaiser administrators say yesterday they started calling patients who went to the emergency room Christmas Day about their possible exposure to COVID. The hospital has not told us how many patients they've contacted or if any of them tested positive. Kaiser employees have repeatedly told us that there were aerosolizing treatments done in rooms that didn't have proper ventilation in the emergency department on Christmas Day. Kaiser says it has no evidence of that. Kaiser also has not confirmed whether any of the employees that tested positive for COVID worked at other Kaiser hospitals. Reporting live in San Jose, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News.